Yeah, hi. I'm going to show you how to play uh, Faded by Alan Walker, the piano intro. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to play it uh, the correct way. Later in the video, I'll show you how to play it a bit simpler, because actually the left hand of this song is uh, quite difficult, especially if you're not a skilled piano player. But firstly, let's uh, hear how it sounds in uh, kind of real time. So there you have it, I hope you recognized it. Now first let's have a look at the right hand, that's not that difficult. It goes like this. Now, uh, to give you a better chance of learning this, I'm going to break this part up in, in four smaller parts and uh, count as I play it. The first part goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to play this part again. One, two, three, four. The next part, the second part goes like this. One, two, three, four. I'm going to play this part again. One, two, three, four. Now the third part. One, two, three, four. That was easy. I'm going to do it again anyway. One, two, three, four. And the last part, the fourth part, goes like this. One, two, three, four. And the last part one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now I'm going to put the four parts together, but still slowly. First part. One, two, three, four. Next part. One, two, three, four. Third part. One, two, three, four. Last part. One, two, three, four. And now lastly, let's put them all together like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we have it, the right hand. Now let's have a look at the left hand. As I said, this is a bit more difficult. Now to, uh, I think I'm just going to play it for you. Left hand alone sounds like this. As you can see, it's a rhythmic pattern on some chords. So to learn this, uh, the best thing to do is to first learn the four chord positions. The first chord is this one. It's called D sharp minor. Make sure you can find this one. The next chord is called B major, like this. Now please notice, I always use the same fingers for all the chords, this way when I have to play the pattern, my fingers will uh, have an easier time remembering the pattern, alright? So this was the second chord, the B major. The th third chord is F sharp major. You have to locate this as well. And the last chord is C sharp major, like this. I'll just show you the four chords one more time. First chord, like this, this is D sharp ma uh, minor. Next chord, B major. Third chord, 
F sharp major and the last chord C sharp major. So now let's practice uh, the rhythmic pattern on the first chord, D sharp minor. It goes like this. Do it one more time. Okay, now let's practice the same pattern on the next chord, the B. And let's practice the pattern on the third chord, the F sharp. chord C sharp so again to practice this rather difficult left hand make sure you can find the four chords this one this one this one and this one and make sure that you make the all the chords with the same fingers, your fifth finger, your third finger, and your first finger. Now, let's practice the pattern one more time, moving uh, through the chords. Guys, there's no way around it. You have to practice the left hand much more than you practice the right hand, okay? Practice the right hand alone one or two times, then practice the left hand like eight or ten times alone before you start putting things together, okay? But now let's try to put it all together. The first uh, part of the, uh, the tune is like this, right? It goes together with this. So I'll just I'll, I'll do this mega slowly, all right? Now, please notice um, this is important. Every time you play this note in your left hand. You never have to play anything in the right hand, okay? Have a look. Every time I, I hit this note, I don't play anything in this right hand. Have a look. So remember this. This finger in the left hand is always played alone, okay? I'll just do uh, this first part one more time. the next part of the intro you have to locate this chord and be ready with this finger yeah I'll do this part again moving on to the third part of the song the intro Locate this chord and be ready here with your third finger. And I'll do this part again. And the last part, locate this chord and be ready with this finger. this part one more time okay 
I'm going to put all the parts together. I'm going to play it still uh, mega slowly, okay? a bit faster. So there you have it. Faded the intro, uh, played the correct way. Now, as I promised you if, you, if you think you'll never learn this left hand because it's too difficult, I'm just going to show you how you can play just uh, four simple bass notes uh, to support the melody on the right hand. Instead of playing all these patterns here, you can just play one note at the stroke of one. You have to use this note, you have to use this note, this note and this note. So I'll do it again. D sharp, B, F sharp, C sharp. Now listen to it how, how the intro sounds with just these uh, single notes in the bass. Okay, I'm going to do this a bit faster so you can hear how it sounds. Ready? Okay, as a bonus, I'm also going to show you uh, how to play the four chords that's, uh, that you use for almost the entire song. Before we finish up, let me show you those four chords you can sing along to. This chord, with this bass note. This chord, with this bass note. This chord, with bass note. This chord, with bass note. And back to start all over. Okay, that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this free piano lesson. Do you want more free piano chord stuff? How about a free piano chord chart? Or a free chord inversion crash course? Or a free chord symbols chart? Simply go to pianochordscharts.net and download your free stuff. Click the link below and I'll see you over there. Please like this video to keep our videos free for future visitors. Thank you.